Let's talk about the term Arab Spring. Is it controversial? So the term Arab Spring is controversial. I think a, a, a lot of a lot of us, a lot of folks in the West, aren't really aware of this, uh, but. Uh, within the Arab world especially, among a lot of Arab intellectuals, uh, there's a tendency to see the term Arab Spring as both a Western concoction, which makes them a little bit uncomfortable. Perhaps there are, uh, there's a sense of Orientalism about it. Uh, also, the Arab Spring has a sort of a clear allusion uh, to the Prague Spring. Right. The Prague Spring occurred in 1968. It was pretty swiftly and brutally put down by the Soviet Union and didn't lead to major long-lasting results. And so there's a fear that by calling it the Arab Spring, uh, in some ways you are minimizing it. You're saying that it's not likely to lead anywhere. Also, you are casting it as, a, as something that occurs in the realm of a season, a few months, right? It's the Arab Spring. Well, the Arab Spring has been going on for well over a year now. And of course, you know, according to any expert account, the ramifications of the Arab uprisings are going to be played out over a period of years, right? Even in a case, even in cases like Tunisia and Egypt, where presidents were overthrown in less than a month, and that's huge. That's, those are extremely important developments. It's over the long range, obviously, that the impact of all of that is going to be determined. And in the case of Egypt, you know, the Egyptian people have indicated very clearly that they now know the way to Tahrir Square, right? Uh, and that you know, they are willing to go back in order to fight for their ongoing revolution, which is clearly not over.